Hi, I'm Dave O'Brien, and I'm an attorney here at Fairvote. The Oscars are this week. Did you know that the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences uses Ranked Choice Voting for its nominations and to decide Best Picture? Ranked Choice Voting is used across the country, in places like Maine and Minneapolis. It's even used in Australia. But let's talk about how famous actors and directors use it for the Oscars. Academy members receive a ballot with all eight Best Picture contenders. Rather than pick just one, they can rank all eight in order of preference. Here's how it works. All first choices are counted. If one movie gets more than half of the first choices, it takes home the trophy. If not, the film with the fewest votes is eliminated, and the voters who pick that film as number one have their votes count for their next choice. This process continues until we have a movie with more than half the votes. But let's back up. How did those eight movies make the shortlist to begin with? The Academy uses ranked ballots to choose nominees in all the major categories. Just like for Best Picture, Academy members rank their choices to nominate their picks for Best Actor and Actress, Best Director, and so on. But while there can only be one winner, most categories have five, or sometimes ten nominees. So picking the nominees works a little differently. For example, rather than half the votes, the threshold needed to get a spot on the five-item shortlist is about 17%. Again, all first choices are counted. If a contender wins the nomination with more than the threshold required, and there are still open spots, any extra votes count proportionally towards voters' next choices. If fewer than five make the cut based on first choices alone, the lowest vote getter is eliminated, and backup choices are factored in until there are five nominations. And that's how ranked choice voting works at the Oscars. If you're interested in bringing ranked choice voting to your area, contact your state at fairvote.org.